Hello everybody, myself is Surji Thakre. I am the first Indian artist who has achieved a postgraduate degree from the Academy of Arts, Rapin Institute of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture in St. Petersburg, Russia. I am also the founder president of the Rary Heart Club affiliated to Russian Center of Science and Culture, New Delhi. I have an experience of 40 years as a professional artist. Here we are using a brown color handmade paper for the surface. Firstly, I make the outline of the border. Do it freely. Angle the straight edge of the brush into the paint, then apply it on the paper. Control the hand movement. Then put dots within cap of half inch. Now make the half moon shape. Wally art belongs to one of the major tribes in the western state of Maharashtra. The Wallis First discovered in the early 1970s, 
This art form can be tracked back to the 10th century AD. Similarly to the prehistoric cave paintings, early paintings are done inside the walls of hut and executed with an elementary style. This art form usually depicts pictures of the tribal daily life and various forms of nature such as the sun, moon and rain accompanied by a characteristic absence of any mythological or religious figures. Only their mother goddess, Palaghat, who is seen as a symbol of fertility, is used as a central motif of any worldly art. Circular patterns are very common occurrence in worldly art. Which are indicative of their belief that death is just another beginning. Now make the figure in the center. Generally it makes a start off with a simple X then join the edges and add the neck, head and finally hand and legs. 
you can start from head also just make the round shape of the head and then neck line after that x shape use the fine brush to make the outline then you can leave it as is or color in it both look equally good to fill the color you can use broad brush once you master the basic image you can repeat the same to create more intricate whirly patterns now i will fill the color in it whirly paintings were mainly done by the women folk the most important aspect of the painting is that it does not depict mythological characters or image of deities but depicts social life pictures of human being and animals along with scenes from daily life are created in a loose rhythmic pattern Early paintings are painting white on mud walls. The paintings are beautifully executed and resemble prehistoric cave activities like hunting, dancing, sewing and harvesting. The tribes are forest dwellers but have made a gradual transition towards being a pastoral community they reside in the west coast of northern maharashtra a large concentration is found in the thane district of mumbai a little backward economically they still maintain their indigenous customs and traditions the growing popularity and commercialization of whirly painting has seen the uplift of many tribes and they are increasingly becoming integrated with the mainstream their marriage traditions are unique to their culture Now I draw figures at the left side corner in the same way. The whirly painting big day to day activities of peoples of the tribe and hence they are mostly painting on harvest festival folk story celebration temple marriages one more figure you, you can add figures as many as like
In ancient time, the early paintings were done on red color mud walls of huts, and hence most of the early art, even the ones made in recent times, are made on earthen red color background. The women of the society used to decorate the hearts with worldly paintings in times of any sort of celebration. They used skewed bamboo sticks as a paint brush to draw the painting using the fist of rice and water. is also the reason why most of the original worldly art are in combination of red background with white paints. Now compose two figures at the right side corner. Early paintings were done during times of festivities and unlike many other art forms that revolves around depiction of God and deities. Early art is mostly illustration of day-to-day -day activities of the tribe. Early paintings generally are based on following themes festival, harvest, folk stories, celebration, temple, marriage. Again fill the color as we do earlier. Worldly painting is an extremely rudimentary type of art form and the paintings were usually done using few characters repeated in cascading continuous patterns. The basic characters used in worldly paintings are Circle, representation of the sun and the moon Triangle, derived from their observation of hills and mountains Square considered to be a sacred enclosure.
Once again, compose the figures at the right side upper corner. Ritualistic worldly painting in every religious ritual. Worldly painting, there is a central character which is called the Chok, Chokat. We are the goddess of fertility, Alghatta is depicted. The chocolate in this ritual painting is surrounded by scenes portraying hunting, fishing and farming, festivals and dances, trees and animals. Human and animal bodies are represented by two triangles joined at the tip. The upper triangle depicts the trunk and the lower triangle the pelvis. Their precarious equilibrium symbolizes the balance of the universe and of the couple and has the practical and amusing advantage of animating the bodies. The tarpa or trumpet like instrument is played in turn by different men. Men and women entwine their hands and move in a circle around the tarpa player. The dancers follow the tarpa player turning the and moving as he turns, never turning their back to the tarpa. The circle information of the dancers is said also to be a resemble the circle of life. Marriage function is a commonly found worldly painting with the goddess of fertility being the central character. Now again feel the color in all the figures. This is a festival scene. There are dancing figures in this composition. As you are aware, India has a rich tradition of folk art, the custodians of which are the many tribes that live in the interior of various states. Like miniature painting, the earliest miniature painting in India were found on palm leaves. These pieces were usually painted for Jain and Buddhist merchants who would carry them on their travel across the Indian subcontinent between the 10th and 12th century. These early miniatures regarded as Pala and Jain were followed later by different schools of art such as Rajasthani, Mughal, Pahari and Dikani miniatures, each of which have their own characteristic style and uniqueness. Further, each school of miniature painting has subdivisions among them, encompassing a rich tradition of miniature painting that are regarded as timeless manifestation of the country's creative genius. Pat Chitram, one of the earliest art forms dating back to the 12th century from Orissa, Patchitra literally translates to cross canvas picture, pat cross and chitra picture.
a small village by the name of Raghurajpur in Orissa is a heaven of purchase. Even today, with every family having at least one member of the family involved in the arts. Lord Jagannath, who is believed to be an incarnation of Lord Krishna, is usually the main theme of Pachitra. Other themes include the story of Radha Krishna, scenes from Ramayana and Mahabharata, the two popular Indian epics, temple activities and others. An important feature of Chitrakar's traditional Patchitra artist is their use of vegetable and mineral colors. Tanjore paintings, Tanjore paintings were are an ancient art form that flourished in the South Indian town of Tanjavir in Tamil Nadu between the 16th and 18th century. A Tanjavir painting is colorful panel painting done on a wood plank with the deity as the main theme of the composition. The deity typical has almost shaped eyes and its figure is enclosed by an arch or a curtain. Tanjavar windings are characterized by gilded and gem set technique which uses gold leaves and sparkling tones. Artificial stones are used today to highlight specific aspects of the painting. Pichwari are intricate paintings which portray Lord Krishna. They exist in the holy tone of Nathadwara in the Rajasthan state of India. Krishna is shown in different moods body posture and attire more commonly found on a cloth or paper. Kalighat painting or Kalighat Pat originated in 19th century Bengal in the vicinity of Kali Temple, Kalighat, Kolkata, India and from being items of souvenir taken by the visitors to the Kali Temple the paintings over a period of time developed as a distinct school of Indian painting. Pithora is a highly ritualist painting done on the walls by several tribes such as the Rathwas and Bilalas who live in the center Gujarat 19 km from Vadodara in a village called Tejgarh. 